That's terrifying! Hey there, goals and ghosts, it is Oscar bringing you another video and today we are going to be reacting to Caroline. Hopefully I said that right because my phone kept auto-correcting it to Caroline and that's not the title of this movie, <laughs> it's Caroline. First of all, I want to address the lighting situation. I'm very much aware that the lighting has been dimmed because we're watching a Halloween movie and if I time it right I'm pretty sure this will release on Halloween in October. Ah, I, a lot of people were surprised that I hadn't seen this movie and to be honest it's just one that I don't know I just bypassed. It, it, it never was on my radar. I've seen like Nightmare Before Christmas. I've seen like a bunch of movies but I've never seen this one. I don't have a Triforce on. But you people are like where the fuck is the Triforce? Where is it actually? That's a good question. What did I do with it? We're back. So I'm excited, I've heard that it's a little bit creepy. I don't do well with scary things for those of you that have been watching my murder drones reactions and stuff like I'm really bad with scary stuff. Like, and murder drones isn't even that scary, it's just that I am a wuss, that is the difference. I'm nervous, excited, all of the above for it, but I am ready because everybody that I have spoken to has loved this movie. Even people, like, even when I text my editor and I was like, oh, can you edit Coraline for me? Annex, my editor, by the way, she's amazing. Hi, Annex. You're going to be editing this one anyway, so hi. Yeah, she was like, oh my god, it's amazing, you're going to love it. And then it's stop motion animation, which, to be honest, I'm really excited to, to see again because we've got Chicken Run 2 dropping this year as well, which, all going according to plan, I may also be reacting to on my channel. If you're new, hi. I'm an idiot. I put videos up on the internet reacting to shit like this. If you're new and you want to come along on the journey, click subscribe down below because it's free and I would love to have you. I react to movies, I react to TV shows like Gravity Falls, The Evil House, um, Hell of a Boss, Has Been Hotel when it comes out, when it eventually comes out. Man, there's loads. I'm reacting to she and Infinity Train right now. There's so much stuff there for you to enjoy and I'm getting into movies more and more as well. That is Hamish. He's my emotional support Highland Cove. It gets too scary or sad. He will come out of his shelf and come and support me over here. Probably enough fanning around. You guys are here for a reaction. I'm here to provide it. Thumbs up the video, click subscribe, all that usual good stuff. If you want access to the full uncut or raw version of this sort of shit early, click the link in the video description down below. It will take you to my Patreon, where I also have a Harley Quinn exclusive reaction series going on. So let's get stuck in. So here it is, and hopefully this time it fucking shows up. Yes, there we go. See, there we go. Thank you, Ruby. They just joined like 30 minutes ago and they've already came to my fucking rescue. And I was like, help me! Ooh. Okay, so Coraline. Okay, so I'm noticing the stitching thing kind of happening. Making me a little nervous. Because there's a button straight away. I knew it was a thing, but I didn't... Like, that makes me feel like it's a big thing. Hi. Okay. I love stop motion animation. Why is this so disturbing though? Was well, there's buttons. I don't know why that gave me a fright. I was I, like, I knew that this was coming. What is this creature? Is this is like Edward Scissorhandsy. How long must it have taken them to animate the fingers that precisely? I don't know if that meant anything to the movie or if that was just like the introduction. I don't know if that character that was doing the sewing. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to be able to figure that out though, am I? I'm going to have to just watch the damn thing. Okay, so we're moving in. Somebody's moving in. Hi. Was it you that moved in? Ooh. They must have had so much fun doing like the sets of all these, right? Imagine being like a set designer for like animated stop motion. What a great artistic job that would be, right? Mm. The cat's coming up a lot. Hello? Hello, hi. Who's there? Love how that's the first word, hello. Well, you pissed the cat off. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, mushrooms in a ring like that's never a good sign. It's a cat. Calm down, you're fine. You scared me to death, you mangy thing. Okay. 
Okay, okay. This took a turn, right? Now, she's in the middle of, like, a mushroom ring thing. When they grow in it, I mean, I know that they can grow in, in rings like that and there is reasons for it, but generally speaking, it usually has some sort of ties to some sort of witchcraft thing, at least prehistorically speaking, but I don't know enough about it to know exactly what it means or what it's what it symbolises. And now we've got some creepy ass weirdo on a bike with a mask. I feel like this is somebody that she's gonna know or it's not what it seems. Like this is gonna be another character we're gonna learn about maybe? But I know nothing about her. Nothing, except that I think she just moved in. You're like the local school bully or something. Texas or Utah, someplace dried out and barren, right? At least kind of feral, you know, wild. Uh, of course, I, I do feed them every night. And sometimes Aww. they'll come in my window and bring me little dead things. And if I'm a water witch, then where's the secret well? You, you stomp too hard and you'll fall in it. Oh, that is the well. Ah, it's supposed to be so deep. If you fell in the bottom and looked up, you see a sky filled with stars in the middle of the day. Oh, uh, I'm not supposed to talk about it. I'm Wybie. Wybie Lovett. Wybie. Wybie? Short for Wyborn. I like the way he moves. There's something in his fluid movements. They're, like, his animation is really, like, unique compared to, like, everybody else that we've seen so far. And I love the cat. The cat is old school animation at its finest. Like, there's something really nice about the style of the black cat. Hmm. No, it's raining. Ooh. I almost fell down a well yesterday, Mom. Uh-huh. I was really died. You and Dad, you paid to write about plants, and you hate dirt. Coraline, I don't have time for you right now, and you still have unpacking to do. Lots of unpacking. Okay, look, you don't say your kids I don't have time for you right now. That's the wrong way to word it, right? You just say I'm a little busy right now, but, you know, I'll... Well, arrange to do you always compromise you teach kids how to compromise right right now i'm busy but in three hours time or two hours time we can go and do this thing together okay now i see now i'm starting to understand why she is the way she is okay so they moved here for some sort of gardening thing she seems interested in it but everything around there looked dead some sort of supernatural reason as to why that is maybe he said about them not letting anybody else really live in that place. Hey, Jonesy, look what I found in Grandma's trunk. You look familiar? Is that an actual dozing? Uh, oh. Huh. It's a doll of her. It's just raining. Mm, what'd the boss say? Don't even think about going out, Coraline Jones! Mm, then you won't need the tools. Okay, fascinating. So he's distant too. He looks really overworked. Like, mum looked like she was stressed too, but he looks like he's way overworked. Like, see the dark? They're, they're definitely, there's always choices for character design and animation, right? The, the shadow here, the eyes are dark. Like, that kind of like, you know when babies get super tired and their eyes, their eyelids go that purple kind of colour? That's the kind of colour his eyes look right now, which is, on an adult, really not great. I could have came up with a way more intelligent word than that, but I'm operating at two and a half brain cells right now, so leave me alone. But yeah, it was interesting ch uh, character design happening because she doesn't really look like her. She looks a little more like her mother. So I wonder if that's trying to tell us something. Um, and I'm loving the the yellow rain jacket that she's got, the Macintosh, which, by the way, was invented in Scotland. For those of you who don't know, Scotland's got a very long list of inventions behind it. <laughs> okay, so is that like a little bit of OCD coming through? So we saw that doll getting made at the beginning by the thing with the scissor hands. I, I thought it was just like an opening credit thing, but it's actually coming up in the movie. I want to go back now. <laughs> I know I shouldn't just watch the damn movie. I don't have any guesses yet, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. Snow globes. Snow globes. Cute. Detroit Zoo. Is this all the places that they've been, maybe? One boring blue boy in a painfully boring painting. 
Why? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but why? In animation, everything is done for a reason. She's counting doors and windows and she's calling out things like the painting, the button to not press. Why do I feel like a lot of this stuff is gonna come back up? There's got to be a reason. It wouldn't just be doing this to pad something out. So these snow globes then are maybe of a happier time when they were a bit more of a family because we did see a picture in another room. I didn't pause on that because I was like, these guys are going to get sick of me pausing all the time. But we saw a happy family picture. So it was clearly a time where they weren't all workaholics. And no more doors. Or doll. Alright, little me. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Will you stop pestering me? Do this for you. Fine. Wow, her mum's a bitch. <laughs> Button. Oh no. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. They must have closed this off when they divided up the house. Oh. You're kidding. And why is the door so small? We made a deal. Zip it. Wow. Well. So this is going to be open now, it's going to be unbricked and she's going to be able to get through it to where, I don't know. Don't forget about me, guys. Hubcaps calling, goodbye. Go Hubcaps, was she a member of some sort of team and these are her two friends? Is she dreaming? It isn't even a mouse, it's a jerboa. You guys just get them in America? I thought they were desert rodents. But I suppose actually a lot of um, America is covered by desert. It's just this area seems very rainy. Interesting. Ooh, pretty colours though. No, I wouldn't see... I would, nope, I wouldn't be doing that. Got a bad feeling about this. Yes, a picture of the kids got the ice cream. So it's another version of their house. Something smells good. Mom? Duffer. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper, dear. You're not my mother. <laughs> Do you like them? No. I'm your other mother, silly. No, see, no. See, no. Nope, no thank you. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I don't like it, no. This is gonna be a too good to be true alternate reality thing, isn't it? Where her mother cooks amazing meals and her dad pays attention to her and everything is perfect, except that it's not going to be. <sighs> Just the other, the, the prospect of other mother. And the really sucky thing about it is the way Caroline's been treated by her parents is I wouldn't, Blame her for wanting to exist in this kind of a world. Fuck. He's in his study. Making up a song about Caroline. She's a peach, she's a doll, she's a Caroline. I want to appreciate. I do. But I'm really unsettled. The animation is fantastic. The camera, I love the fact they've put the camera on the spinning piano. Very creative. Very much something I adore. I'm unsettled. I don't know if you can tell. My shoulders are up to here and I'm like, Ugh. I don't like it. We've been waiting for you, Coraline. Wasn't the same here without you, kiddo. Hmm. And soon as you're through eating, I thought we'd play a game. No, no, ha, <laughs> no. Well, number one, you took the food off her far too quickly. I'm less of a sweet tooth and much more of a savoury person. So like, I would have been like, mm, more my dead body. Give me back the food. Number two, her mother was not eating. Number three, she's talking about playing a game. I am already creeped a figgy fuck out. Big fat fucking no. I don't like it, my shoulders are still up to my ears. Okay, wait, she's back. Ah, so that's what those flying things were, was these are the things that she'd put round the bed herself. How much of that was real? How much 
was in her dreams, how much of that was real. Is this going to be like a nightly thing now? Each night she's going to disappear into this other realm with her other mother and other father? Okay. Why don't you go visit downstairs? I bet those actresses would love to hear your dreams. But you said they're dingbats. Mm-hmm. Ah, so there we go. So it's different apartments. Gotcha. Okay, so there's apartment A, B, and C. Right, okay. So they must be one of the, either the middle or the top, because they say go downstairs to visit somebody. Bobinski. What are they? Parcels. Oh, oh, wait. Is it like cheese or something? Cheese? Oh, right, I was so right. Yeah. But the jumping mice play only toot toot like that is nice, but not so much amazing. Oh, it took me way too long to make that connection. You're jumping mice. This is where the Jerboa came from when he said jumping mice. Okay, 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 I see, I see. So they aren't probably native, it was one of his. And it knows about the tunnel, because it went through that tunnel and came out the other side. So does it have an alternative life through there that it prefers as well? Does that tunnel lead everybody through to an alternative version of their own lives that they enjoy? Maybe one where they get that cheese that he's always hoarding? So I feel like there's reason we're getting introduced to this character. He obviously, like, it, like just like the, the windows and doors thing I think is going to come back up, but also the, the switch for the electricity, electricity, that will come back up. As will the... So we've already seen the picture thing come back. In this reality right now, she's meeting this character. She's going to meet the version of him, the other him, when she goes to bed tonight. Is that how this is going to be? It's going to be like, we're going to see daytime stuff happen, then evening stuff through the tunnel. Better versions of what's happened throughout her day. So now I switch to strategies and soon watch out. These are going to be very dramatic people then. Dogs. Oh. Sister and family. Oh. Okay. Is this an older sapphic couple maybe? I think you'll be followed. It's the new neighbour, Miriam. Caroline. Those dogs real? Ah, oh, sweet departed angels. Now, there's Hamish the third. Oh, go on. <laughs> Did you hear that, Hamish? Did you hear that? <laughs> Hamish the third. This is. Yeah, you're you're Hamish the first and only, really, aren't you, buddy? Again, are these two characters going to come back up? I'm still riled by what that guy says about the mice. The mice said, don't go into the door. And it felt like one of the mice was the ones that kind of led her in there in the first place. I feel like we're going to see these guys and the other neighbour. Oh, Taffy from Brighton. Best in the world. The third, the ninth, yes, the fourth, I'm right. And uh, Jock Junior, Jock Senior, Jock the third. Okay, so that's coming back. Jock the third. <gasps> Oh, oh, Caroline, 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 Caroline. It's Caroline. You are in terrible danger. I see uh -huh. a very peculiar hell. I see a giraffe. Giraffes don't just fall from the sky, Miriam. Oh, <coughs> Do you have any ice creams for mummy? Oh, the fog is sitting in. Danger? Yeah, I'd listen to that part. Hey, check out Slugzilla. Yeah, no thanks. You are just like me. I meant my parents. They don't listen to me either. Uh-huh. You mind? Hmm. Ah. Ah. Mm. Oh. Mm. You know, I've never been inside the Pink Palace. Thinks it's dangerous or something. Dangerous? She had a twin sister. So? When they were kids, Grandma's sister disappeared. She says she was stolen. Look, I, I gotta go. Wait a minute! Hmm. Okay, so that... Hmm... Went missing. Then she was stolen. 
Wait a minute, did they have little button eyes? Wait, 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 It's hard to see on the copy I've got. It's not exactly the most HD. Have they got button eyes? Is this like other mice? Yeah, it looks like they have. I would not be going back there in a hurry, not after all the warnings. Caroline, what about the warnings? Everybody said that you were in great danger. Don't go through the door. Would you go fetch your father? I bet he's hungry as a pumpkin by now. You mean my other father? Your better father, dear. He's out in the garden. Hmm. I don't like it and I don't trust it. Oh, the garden looks amazing. Wow. Too good to be true. Oh, I'm too much of a skeptic for this. Wow, yeah. I mean, it looks great though and the visuals are stunning, but... Fuck, she's gonna get trapped here or something, eh? They're gonna try and like kidnap her or something. The fuck is happening? So this really interesting, he orbits a lot around music. I wonder if there's reason for that and yet the other mother seems to be cooking every time we see her. I don't know, I just don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't like it and I don't trust it. They were already hesitant to let her go the last time. So are they going to try and keep her trapped there and if everything there has the button eyes? Are they going to like try and, is there going to be some sort of hoodoo voodoo thing with her doll? Since that's a button-eyed version of her? Or is that just foreshadowing that she has to get button eyes? Another wife. Hello, why were you born? He's gonna be silent. Hello? I thought you'd like him more if he spoke a little less. So I fixed him. She... Oh, that's why the dad in the other world say she's the boss. Because she's the boss of this realm, right? She's in charge. And she fixed him? What, did she stitch his mouth or something? It'd be a bit much for the kids' animated movie, surely. Surely, surely. I'd rather not see it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. There's a very big, small tent. Ooh, hi guys. Getting pink elephants on parade flashbacks from. This must have taken them fucking ages to animate. <sighs> I don't like it! It's obviously too good to be true, but now, like, my brain has been interrupted with thoughts of, like, how did everybody else get here then? If her other mother is, like, the sister that went missing or something. Why are there all these copies of other people that look exactly like? It has to be something to do with the dolls. That's a really interesting shot. Oh, there he is! Hi! You are very welcome anytime you like. You and also your good friend. Oh, so she's going to sleep again. This is messing with my brain. Mm, <gasps> oh, there's gonna be a time where she's gonna be happy to wake back up in this bed, right? Because each time we've seen her wake up in it, she's been like, <sighs> or like, <sighs> or whatever. But there's gonna come a time where she wants to get back here and she can't. And then she's gonna be happy when she sees that crack. When she wakes up and sees that crack, it's gonna be a relief. How do you feel about a mustard ketchup salsa wrap for lunch? Had to go food shopping anyway. Dad's planning something special. You want to come along? You can pick out something you like. If things go well today, I promise I'll make it up. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a little bit of what's happening here now. Mum started to try. I noticed it a little in the car, but now here she's trying again. And Caroline's blocking it, which is, to be fair, like, your mother has treated her pretty much like shit up until this point, so I understand what Caroline's doing, but there's definitely like a wall now going up between them. So maybe mum and dad will start to come around. Mm. 
Okay, so it isn't just at night time. Hmm, the cat is seeing this. Oh no, it's not good. Okay. I already knew the cat knew. But what was, they were looking for a well at the beginning. That seems to have just gotten swept under the rug. That means something too. There's a lot of pieces to this puzzle and I know the movie's going to bring them all together. I'm just trying to figure them out before that happens. I got nothing. I got nothing. <gasps> See, oh, uh, I mean, like, I would. I would just sew my eyes up as buttons. I don't care. Like, for that food, I would stay there. Especially when you were getting the slop. There's cupcakes, pizza, hot dogs. Is that like a cheese and ham toasty? I'm sold. Fucking love Dear cheese and ham toasties. Oh, it's a real cat. I just got a cat like you at home. Oh, so it knows how to get here. You must be the other cat. No, she's he's not the other cat. I'm not the other anything. But you can't tell me. If you're the same cat, how can you talk? I just can. Cats don't talk at home. No, you're clearly the expert on these things. After all, I'm just a big fat wuspus. Come back, please. I'm sorry I called you that. I really am. Oh, wow. It's like the Edinburgh Playhouse. That's cool. Oh, the t Oh, it's all their doggies. place the accent because every now and again there's like a little word of Scottish that shines through like there's just a twang there but I feel like she's British whoever it is that's voiced I know that Scotland is in Britain but like we still see them as separate entities so let me know in the comments because I don't want to go googling anything in case I hit spoilers right now is she who she voiced by and are they British am I right in saying that they're British a big bottom sea which may bob through the waves But a true ocean goddess must fill out a bodice They're busting out the big cannons aren't they? They, they really, really, really are They're just, that was, yep, yeah, mm-hmm I'm surprised they got away with that I'm really surprised you got away with that. Ready to break the lake, Miriam! Our lives for the theatre, I fell. What the fuck? <laughs> it's the younger versions of themselves. How infinite of the faculty, in form and moving, how express and and now they've got another circus reference happening with the trapeze. Oh, oh. I would be terrified. I would be terrified. I fucking hate heights. Oofed. Hey there. Was it wonderful, dear? Oh yeah, they swooped down and pulled me right out of my seat. It's big and forcible. No, 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 no. What was wrong with his face? They swooped down and pulled me right out of my seat. Speak it forcible. Only they He looks really sad. Why? Mm, nope. Uh, he. It was when she was talking about how it was like magic and blah 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 and how good it was. That's when he got sad and she's telling him to smile. Everybody here is just playing a part in order to try and get Caroline to stay, right? They're all probably secretly miserable. But the other mother, who's the boss, has got them all kind of under her thumb. Black is traditional. But if you'd prefer pink or vermilion or chartreuse. No, you might make me jealous. No way! You're not sewing buttons in my eyes! So sharp you won't feel it. Ow! 
bed. Before dinner? I'm really, really tired, yeah. Ugh, I just need to sleep. Yeah, see, that's a big ass fucking nope. That's what that is, that's a big ass fucking nope. Like, if there was a nopeest of nopes that existed in the world ever, it would be the biggest fucking nope to replace your eyes with buttons. Just, like, nope. And so is that, what's, is that what's happened to each of these souls that's came through here then? They got a world that was created that was perfect for them and then they got the buttons sewed into their eyes and that forces them to stay. That's like the thing that cuts them off from the real world. That's the thing that effectively, it wouldn't, not, not that it would kill somebody, but it could, you know? And I really aren't worried at all, darling. Aye, that was right. you'll see things our way. You see things, are we? Smashing. And I won't be back. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Can't you sleep? There's a thing we need to do. Go to sleep. So sharp you won't do a thing. Mom! <gasps> oh no! Yeah, you're it's stuck. Still here? I wanna go home. All will be swell soon as mother's refresh. Her strength is sound. Oh dear. Mustn't talk when mother's not here. No point. He pulled a long face. And mother didn't like it. Uh, uh, I'm getting out of here. That's what I'm doing. No, she can't. Something's wrong. Shouldn't the old well be here? Nothing out here. It's the empty part of this world. She only made what she knew would impress you. She just loved something to eat. Eat? That's ridiculous. Mothers don't eat daughters. I don't know. Oh, that's why she's never eaten anything. I thought maybe she was a twin that went missing, but what if the twin that went missing was another prey. Does she go after young girls then? And creates this fantasy world and then devours them? Is it the same creature that we saw sewing the things at the beginning? How do you taste? <laughs> oh. Stop! He's one of the circus mice! Oh. Oh, he's not. Oh. Oh. I don't like but this one was sounding an alarm. Oh, um, that was a room. Oh, shit. They say even the proudest spirit can be broken with love. They're cocoa beetles from Zanzibar. Okay, so she does eat that. So she eats living things. That's why we've never seen her eat before. And something tells me she's sick of eating beetles. Oh well, oh well. I want to be with my real mom and dad. I want you to let me go. Apologize at once. One, two, three. What are you doing? Okay, see, no. Oh, God, God, the appearance of her in a fucking mirror. No! You may come out when you've learned to be a loving daughter. Who are you? Don't remember our names, but I remember my true mommy. She spied on our lives through the little dog's eyes. Saw that we weren't happy. So she lured us away with treats and games to play. So we let her sew the buttons. Oh shit! But she locked us here and ate up our lives. Perhaps if you do when you're safe, you could find our eyes. Find your eyes, mistress. Our souls will be free. I'll try. It's him, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him. Did she do this to you? Oh, God. Come on, 
She hurt you again. The fuck? Coraline? He's made the sand. How dare you disobey your mother? The tunnel looks so different this time. Thank God. That looks like it's been sitting there for days. So, you know that, that old doll I, I gave you? Um, my grandma's real mad. Says it was her, her sister's. The one that disappeared. You stole that doll, didn't you? She's still wearing the outfit. What is happening? Right, so those kids, one of them must have been her sister. Like the grandmother's sister then, right? I know that like things can move between these realms because the mice do, but if that means that the mice do, does that mean that she can as well, or can she not like the other the other mother? Can she not leave that realm? Grandma's missing sister. I think I just met her. Come on. Listen, You're not going to take I'm him. Really not supposed to. Go. Oh! She can't escape without her eyes. None of the ghosts can. You and Grandma been talking? The doll's her spy. It's how she watches it. Find out what's wrong with your life. I think I heard someone calling me, Jonesy. You don't believe me? You can ask the cat. The cat? I'll, I'll just tell Grandma that, that you couldn't find the dog. Ow! You're not listening to me! That's because you you're crazy. crazy. Yeah, you do sound crazy. So where have our mom and dad gone? Get up, dad. Oh, wait Get a minute. Up. Has she taken them? The other mother? She's gonna have to go back and get them, isn't she? Fuck. Did they maybe go through the portal to look for her and then got stuck there themselves, like got taken? Caroline says her parents have vanished quite completely. What? There you go, sweetie. What's it for? Well, it might help. They're good for bad things sometimes. No, they're good for lost things. If bad things, ma'am. Okay, that's depressing. Yeah, I noticed her mum did have a neck brace on as well. I, I wasn't sure if that was just like a stylistic choice or... Oh, Coraline. The cat's going to tell her that the other mother's got her parents right. <laughs> right up in your face. Oh, that was a mirror that she threw her through, wasn't it? Oh. She's taken them. Yep. Dang it. The cat's from me. I have to go back. They are my parents. She's got a thing for games. Okay. okay. Hide and seek was a game that she said before, right? Coraline? Mom? Darling, why would you run away from me? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, it's the other mother. They weren't bored of me. You stole them. Now don't be difficult. The fuck is wrong with her dad? Have a seat, won't you? Oh, God. Why don't you have your own key? Only one key. The garden Only squash need tending, don't you think, pumpkin? This one. Why don't we play the game? I know you like them. Everybody likes games. And what is it you'd be finding, Coraline? My real parents. And the eyes of the ghost children. Oh, right. In each of three wonders I've made just for you, a ghost's eye is lost in plain sight. And for my parents? <laughs> Why did you tap the buttons for our parents in each of the three wonders? The circus, the garden, and the theatre, right? Those are three wonders? 
Those were the three things that she heavily showcased when she came to the world. Uh, she's looking at this all differently now, isn't she? Whereas the last time she was here, she was like, Oh my gosh, this is amazing, this is wonderful. Sometimes when things are too good to be true, it's because they are, you know? Oh dear. Ooh, it's like alive. It's a good thing she brought them there. That wants it, it's all going to be awful, isn't she? She's going to look through it. Why steal this? Because it's important, because it shows you what things really look like. She's going to be able to find the eyes and stuff with this, isn't she? I'm scared. <laughs> so sorry for this guy, whatever the fuck he is, whether he's been made by mother, whether he was a trapped soul, whatever he is, he genuinely doesn't want to hurt her. Oh, is he stuck? She, he, she's going to save him, no? Take it. That's going to be the eye. Smashing! Chop chop! We're on this creepy fucking quest, we might as well fucking finish it! Hi, hello, how are you? We're fine, we're okay. See, no. Like, if it's a choice, can we just not? I don't know what she's about to find in this, if it's going to be like a fucking fetus version of these two ladies, but like, I just, I just, I just... <sighs> okay. Too easy. Just go grab her. Yep. Whoa! Okay, so the minute she takes it, the whole thing changes. On, Her, web Her web is unwinding. Like some sort of creepy spider thing. Oh, it's like a button going over the moon. Yeah, that's not fucking creepy at all. Is this guy hung himself? Okay. The fuck is that? Hello, Galobushka. I'm Coraline. Oh, it was a ball the whole time. Stay oh. with us. We will listen to you and laugh with you. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Of course you don't understand. You're just a copy she made. Is it all the mice? No. It is. Except it's the rat versions of them all. Oh no, no, she's lost it. She shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Running out of time, sweetheart. I've lost the game. I've lost everything. The cat? The cat that got it for her? Ah. I think I mentioned that I don't like rats at the best of times. Okay, but what about her parents? So that was part of the game, wasn't it? I still have to find my parents. A spidery. That's what she is, isn't she? She's some sort of spider thing. I brought a friend. You know I love you. Ooh, it was you that was making the dolls. Where are they? The ghost eyes. We aren't finished yet, are we? No, no, I suppose not. After all, you still need to find your own parents, Ooh. don't you? Be clever, miss. Even if you win, she'll never let you go. Be clever, miss. Even if you win, she'll never let you go. I mean, we kind of knew that, right? That kind of speaks for itself. No bad guy. The terms were too good. She's not going to agree to that, you know? 
But what has she got planned? She's obviously got something planned here. Whatever it is, is gonna work because we've not had it explained to us. <gasps> the Detroit Zoo. Wow. Yeah. You're going to stay here forever. No. She put the I'm thing in her. Not. Oh, pff, the poor cat! The poor cat! The poor cat! Oh, go for the eyes. Caroline, get out of there! Oh, it is a spider wave. Fuck. So it is a spider like demon. Oh no, that's the worst thing ever because the spider doesn't actually need to see to find something in its web, it can go by the vibrations of the web. Ah, fuck. <laughs> yup, that's how they get their prey. Fucking <laughs> hell, that's terrifying. Fucking hell, that's terrifying. So they don't remember anything? Oh. Hello again. You still mad? <laughs> yes. I'm really sorry I threw you out of here. The other night. It was all I could think of. I think it's time. Don't you? To set them free? How do you do that? It's a fine, fine thing you did for us, miss. It is a win dummy for us. What about me? You're in terrible danger, girl. But how? It's the key, miss. There's only one if the Belden will find it. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say he's gonna need to show up at some point, right? What's he doing out here late at night? Oh, oh! Help him, help him, help him, help him, help him, help him, help him! The sweet ghost girl. I'm glad you decided to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> was it my idea? Ah, the cat. Cold drinks? Oh yeah, great. You were right, Coraline. I really hate dirt. <laughs> but the tulips look nice. Thanks. Tulips are the best flowers. I agree. I grew up here. Oh, there's the grandmother. Yes, you do. Is it really truly over? Do we trust that? <laughs> the cat. I would like to know the lore on what that creature was then, that sort of spider demon thing. I feel like the idea of that's got to be drawn from somewhere, right? There's got to be something. If you know, feel free to tell me in the comments down below. That was really good. I, it was a little darker than I was expecting, like I'd been warned that it was kind of like, not scary, but creepy, I guess is probably the right word to use. But the imagery of like the character design and everything is way creepier than I thought. I really liked the cat. Of course I did. Of course I liked the cat. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know how I feel about her parents forgetting everything. I feel like it would have been nicer had they remembered because it did seem like for their characters they did a bit of a 118. What's to stop them falling back into old habits of neglecting her again when work gets busy? That's my only complaint. I also would love to know in fact, we did get the answer to that, was that oh, a lot of the, the creatures in that alternative world were her creations, right? Because we saw that when they got killed, it was dust and everything that came out of them, just like at the very beginning when we saw her sewing. So it's like she's made creatures that can come alive, even although they're filled with sand and they're made of sewed up material. And I feel really sorry for, I can't remember his name, Wh Wyming or whatever his name was the alternative dimension version of him who helped her. Goodness knows what happened to him. So she just stuck then in that alternate world. Nobody else can get to her because the key was then buried into the water with the, the remnants of the hand and the... Hmm. I just don't know if I trust it. I feel like it's like Jumanji again, you know, like in the future, so many like years later, 30, 40 years later, when they're revamping the land, they dig out that well, somebody uncovers a key, and then kids are put at risk all over again. Maybe destroying the key or melting it down or something would have been better. But then I suppose something like that would leave open to a sequel if they ever did decide to go down that route. What would your alternative reality look like? Like what, what if you could pick three things, that you think would tempt you through to an alternate reality? What three perfect things? Let me know in the comments down below what those would be. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was very dark, very creepy. Probably one of the perfect movies to watch for Halloween season. This will be one of your last chances to be able to get the Fickety Fuckety Boo limited edition merch because this will be going up, I think, around Halloween. So yeah, make sure you jump down into the store or jump into my page into the store section and pick this up. But I really enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys did as well. Don't forget to thumbs up, click subscribe if you want access to the full two hour and 18 minute long, nearly 19 minute long version of this reaction then you can click the link in the video description down below it will take you to my patreon where you can go and get access to that but that's all i've got time for i will see you next time with another video and until then haste you back guys